Hey y'all, it's Cobra Wars once again, and here I am with another video review of Kingdom Warpath. Here he is in package. Uh, Hasbro went to this style package with more cardboard and less plastic to be more eco-friendly. Um, as such, you can see him from about the waist up on there, but it does allow them to put more of this beautiful, beautiful artwork on the box. So now we have on the box, we have him in vehicle mode, turn, you have him in robot mode, you have the arc crash into the mountain over there, keep going around the side of the box, the standard vehicle robot mode pictures tells you it changes in 26 steps, we have the artwork for kingdom on the side of the box, top of the box, bottom of the box not too exciting on those fronts but there he is there he is in box and if you look at him you can kind of see that he's not going to be a very big figure which is fine because he's in the original g1 he's a mini bot he's not a regular size transformer so there he is in box that's how he looks now let's get him out of the box so we can talk about this beautiful beautiful figure Okay, and here we have him out of box. Kablamo. That's, you know, if you watched G1, you know that's something that he would say routinely. Um, he does have wheels. Four little wheels. Um, he more slides than he rolls, I think. Um, but he does move. Yay. Um, so yeah, he moves. There he is. And listen, I mean, look at the sculpting on him. All the details on these figures are just outstanding. All these little vents. Um, it'd be nice if they got some paint on those vents, but you know, he's a $20 figure, so it's, the treads are kind of this off-white cream color. But he's pretty much just this red plastic, not a lot of paint apps on his robot mode, I mean, on his vehicle mode. Um, there is this one flap part that's a little darker than the rest. He does have the Autobot logo right there. Um, articulation in this mode, his turret moves. It's a little tight, but it does go around 360. Unfortunately, it does not go up and down. Um, but there's that. Uh, he's got the little ports for the uh, blast effects. But that's, there he is. Um, he's a mini bot in G1. So here he is with the other mini bots that have been released. Um, so you can kind of see him in comparison to them. He's about, he's, I mean, he's a little bit bigger than Cliff Jumper. Which then in turn means he's bigger than B because B's B's cliff jumper. I mean they're both they're the exact same except for the outer shell. Um, so I mean they're going he's gonna be bigger than both of them. So, uh, there's use that. So they're, they're all deluxes too. That's the other thing. So these mini bots are deluxes. These two are glorified. Legend class, I would say, but they're sold as deluxes. And then we have him next to Siege Hound. I mean, he's in in vehicle mode. He's about the same size as Hound. Um, then against the Voyager Prime. He primes, you know, a, a, a titch bigger, which, again, he's a mini bot in G1. He's a full-size bot, so, I mean, this is eh. But, I mean, they still look, they still look good together. So, like I said, the detail on him, I like. I, I would have loved some paint apps on this guy. 
he's primarily this red, like I said, this red plastic and white plastic. He, there's no, I mean, if they could have done some paint apps in, in the treads or on the vents or something, something to make this figure other than just red. He's, he's really red. Um, but it is what it is. So down to transformation. We're going to pop this piece off. We're going to spread these apart and pop those down. His arms fold out. These fold in and go like that. And that's how they are on his arms. He, you bring the legs down. And there's a lot of, just a lot of panels. So you're gonna fold that, that panel down and you're gonna flip the leg over like that. You're gonna bring, you're going to bring the treads down. You're going to fold that around, flip his leg around, and then this part should just fold in like that and pop into the back like that. There you go. Okay, same, same verse, or second verse, same as the first. Flip that down, flip that down. Rotate that around, bring this panel in, rotate his leg. So there you got that. He, and then he looks something like that. You're going to come around to the back. You're going to lift this up, fold this in, push it down into that little hole. You're going to... This part pops open. You're going to flip his head out, flip his noggin out, tab that in there. His arms are going to, you're going to have to flip up like that, peg in. And there you go. You have him in, oh, and then his cannon part is going to collapse into his chest where his head was and then you have him like that and this part he's got a peg on both shoulders you pick a side pops in there like that and there you go you have warpath the mini bot and he is together and let me pull this up a little bit to get a better there we go so there you go he is in robot mode now now let's so there you go his face is th that white plastic again his eyes are a black again yeah I mean that sculpt's the sculpt's really nice. And the detail on the tank mode, I mean, it's still there. You still see all that detailing they did. It's just a pity they didn't didn't paint anything to make it pop. It's it's just that white and red plastic. I mean, which I don't know. Like I would have appreciated some silver paint on those. Or his his gun barrel being something other than the maroon um it just it, he doesn't pop he's a beautiful figure he's a beautiful beautiful figure don't get me wrong i think he looks great um posability wise he's kind of clunky uh but overall i think he's a good figure i'm just disappointed with the paint apps he's just very very plain, very just blah. I mean, is the best way to put it. 
So let's get the other bots in here uh, for some comparisons. And for comparison, we're going to have him with, there's Cliff Nupper. Again, he's a mini bot. So here's him with this two mini bots that have been released in this line so far. There's him with the Voyager class Optimus. You can't really see it. So let me, let me move this here. So let's see if we can get a, there we go. There he is with, let's put him next to Hotshot. I used Hound for the vehicle comparison because I had Hound in vehicle. Hotshot's the same mold as Hound. You can see he's a little bit shorter than, than that mold. I'll put him back here. Let's bring out Crosshairs. Crosshairs is one of the bigger, taller, deluxe figures. I mean... Same class, figure-wise, price point. But, I mean, there's obviously a huge difference. As again, there's just a huge difference between them. So, I mean, as you can see, they scale well with each other. I mean, they all have different sizes, and they all... There you go. And here, let's bring in... Let's bring in Rat Trap, who's... Uh, considered core class. I mean, he is much smaller than Warpath, which... So Warpath is, I mean, depending on how, again, uh, core class, deluxe. I'll go into this a little more when I do a review for Cliff Jumper and B and stuff, but there he is for size comparison, if you're wondering. Let me get rid of all these guys now over there okay so um he doesn't come with any accessories he is just that figure i don't mind him i think he's a beautiful figure i think he is sculpt wise do i think he's as great as he could be no do i think hasbro did a good job of what they could with him i think they could have put paint on him i think i mean there is like it's all just this white plastic and this red plastic. I mean, they painted his arms because you can see this, his arms are that white plastic. This piece is with that white plastic and they put red paint right there. But that's, that's all they painted. I mean, like at least with like B, he's got the paint on the face. He is red, very, very, red um not that that's horrible because he was red in the cartoon and i'm sure he will be red if he shows up in um kingdom we don't know but a lot of the earthrise figures didn't show up in earthrise so i'm not holding him out hope since kingdom's based off of beast wars that he will show up but here he is and he's a good looking figure just i wish there was paint i wish that wasn't white i wish that there was more break in the red um as the kingdom figures they all come with a random card he came with dinobot uh you can peel it up and it shows you know something underneath there this one has a, I don't know what that says. I know somebody's probably going to translate it. There's like four different versions of each card uh, with different fates and uh, things on there telling you what happens to the characters because they're like, it's supposed to be what's on the golden disc. So there it is. That's one I got. It's Dinobot. Your mileage may vary because they're all random. Anyway. Is he worth picking up for your collection? If you're a Warpath fan or a completionist, I am trying to get a core collection of figures. He was good enough for me to get. Your mileage is going to vary on this one. I don't feel like I could recommend him to you. Like, yeah, go out and get him. He's a great figure. You have to have him. I think he's beautiful. I think he's going to be a nice addition to my collection. 
whether he's going to fit into yours is up to you. I think there are better Warpath figures. I think scale-wise, because scale for me is a huge thing, scale-wise, this is the one for me. Anyway, this has been Cobra Wars. Again, if you can do me a huge favor and hit that like button, hit subscribe, that helps me out. And anyway, I just want to tell you, have a good night, and I will see you again.